In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of amazing 3D carousel animation very easily in just about a few minutes using After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a new composition and then select the rounded rectangle tool and then draw a shape as shown here. Let me increase the roundness a bit more and then align it to the center. Yeah, I'm applying CC light sweep effect. This one is optional. And now let's type the text and then position it above the rectangle and also align it at the center. Select the shape layer and hold the control key and double click on this anchor point tool to center the anchor point. Do the same here for the text layer as well. And now select both these layers and press ctrl D to make a copy of them and then place them above. And now select the text layer and re-edit the text to 2. Now select these two layers and make a copy of them and re-edit the text to now select the shape and text layers and pre comp them one by one as shown here. Now let's create a null object. Select all the layers and enable 3D on them. Now open the position properties of the null by pressing P on the keyboard and let's give it a Z position of 100. Now select the pre comp 3 layer and parent it to null 1. Now we need to apply some math here. Open the calculator. Here we have three shape layers to have a 360 degrees rotation. Let's divide the value 360 by the number of shape layers that we have, which is 3, which gives us the value of 120. So copy the value and paste it on the Y rotation of the null. Now we need to parent the precomp 2 layer to the null layer. And let's add one more 120 degrees to the Y rotation. And then finally parent the precomp 1 layer to the null layer. Now we can animate it with the help of Y rotation value. Add a keyframe on Y rotation at the first frame and then come few frames forward and give as many rotation cycles as you want. So yeah, here we go. This is what we have got. But to make it more interesting, let's create a reflection effect. Scale them down a bit. Uh, select the text layers and make a copy of them by pressing Ctrl T. Open the rotation properties by pressing R and let's give them X rotation of 180 degrees. Decrease the opacity to about 50% each and then position them below with the help of down arrow key. Here, decrease the opacity even more. And finally, position these reflection layers underneath the original ones. So yeah, here we go. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.